to eat off the surface at the moment. They've got a bit of a choice of food. So they've got, there we go, got it right off the edge of there. Look at that. What a take. Shut up and sit down. Welcome back folks, thanks for joining me again. Um, we're here this evening on the wonderful, wonderful home water at Jigborough Fisheries here. Just finished up with a client. Um, he's had a tremendous day, Andrew. He's had 20 fish on the dries. Superb, it's got a bit bright now, typically, because I want to do a video. But what we've been concentrating on today is fishing these margins behind me, very, very, very close in. The buzzers hatching here and they're coming up in quite big numbers and some very 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 big buzzers and where we scored today we haven't been overcast in the swim we've been sitting well back from the the edge here and we've just been popping the flies 20 feet out if that a lot of the time closer and um and we've we've done well on them andrew's done well on them i'm hoping to get a few for you this evening just to show you the the method it's very similar to the last dry fly video we've been using we've been using sugar cube um uh, emerges uh, for the main reason being that these buzzers that are coming off some very 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 big buzzer and these sit absolutely perfectly where well, we've changed it a little bit from last time is we've actually got a dropper up here okay we've actually popped a dropper on up here and on there we've got a tiny little size 16 just a little 16 black buzzer just to help aid our presentation you see how flat calm it is behind us here um, it's been hard work just by degreasing the line to even get that to pull the flies down through the surface so that addition of that tiny bit of weight with the buzzer just drags that uh, uh, leader down and gives you better presentation it's also nicked us a few bonus fish today as well because these fish are taking the uh, um, buzzer subsurface as well as off the top um, set up as standard uh, nine foot six seven weight um, six weight this one uh, uh, which would t2 real rocket floating line We've gone down on the fluorocarbon as well today because of this flat calm. We've got five pound on there. That's five pound fluoro on there, well degreased. I've got me degreasing there, and I've also got me floatant there for the, uh, uh, the the top of the dries there. Um, yeah, and we're just going to have a little flick around, and uh, hopefully this sun, I can see some cloud coming behind us. Hopefully the sun will disappear. These fish will start popping up. There's one or two moving behind me as I'm doing this, and uh, we'll see what we can do. You never know. We might have one of those real big ones that's coming out recently. There was a a uh, client of mine on the other side of the lake there on Friday, he had one estimated between 13 and 14 pound, caught on my claret emerger. Uh, I'll put a little link up there somewhere for the time of your, uh, the claret emerger for you. Um, great little fly for this time here, great little fly when, the big, uh, when they're on the big stuff. But uh, without further ado, let's crack on and see if we can't get one or two. Let's just get the size of it. That's a standard landing net the size of that. That's a belter. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there she goes. Super duper. So we've got this bit of sunshine here at the moment. There's a cloud cover coming. Uh, the fish have obviously pushed off the edge a little bit into the slightly deeper water. But what this dual setup allows us to do is because of that buzzer on there as well, I can fish both methods at the same time. So I'm just going to pop it out into that deeper water and just let that buzzer fish now. Just waiting for that to get down ever so slightly. There's still a chance that you're going to get a fish come up and take the, uh, the, the dry straight off the top. But I feel there's a better chance of that buzzer working now if I keep that nice and static. As soon as the cloud comes, it's about five minutes away I think I should start popping up again so I'm just working past the drop off now when the cloud comes I'm going to step right back and I'm going to be fishing really fishing these shallows you can see how shallow this is along here really concentrating on that edge there but you can see there's a fish or two just popping up there's a lot of big food items on the water at the moment big buzzers sedges uh, the first of the hawthorns coming off as well so there's, there's plenty of decent sized food items about, hence my fly choice, you know, a bigger dry fly, a bigger emerger fly. Give them a, give them a proper meal. And the fly's going to get lost in amongst all this small stuff, I feel. We might give it a go later on, might put something really tiny on and see if we can't winkle one out on it, but uh, let's see how we get on with this. Cut the fish moving here to my left. Pop it out 
and just give it a pull just to get that fluoro started. And just came rocketing and had a look at that, look. Come and have a look at that dry fly. The emerger. That's like a little popper that does. He just came rocketing in and changed his mind last minute. So now I'm behind him, look. That's pinged out lovely. Straighten that up. Oh, he's, again, another one just came and had a look. They like that bit of movement, don't they? They're not committed, just turned away at the last minute. Should really start angling for those, I suppose, and pop it and get it really moving on the way back, see if they really come in on it. Let's see if a little bit of a, a, bit of a wake causes any sort of reaction from these fish, eh? Just pop that out there and leave it. Right. Keep a nice eye on that. Been a cracking day. It's been fish from the get-go. We messed around this morning with some small stuff and um, different flies for the first half an hour or so, and then we've we're getting refusals and fish weren't tame. We went smaller and smaller and smaller, and still we're getting refusals, and then we right we we'll go the other way. And we went right up to these big size tens and bang, straight away, they started taking them. So sometimes it isn't always a case of going smaller, sometimes going bigger works just as well. All I'm watching now, end of the fly line and the emerger at the other end, and either of those disappear, I'm going to strike. There's a fish here. So it's been well worth having a buzzer on there today. It's definitely picked up a few bonus fish. Especially in this broken cloud we've had. We've had sun cloud, sun cloud, sun cloud. So you really have got the best of both worlds working for you here. It definitely helps getting that leader down. Yeah. Oh, just ping the buzz up, ping the buzz up. All I saw was the point fly acted like an indicator, just dunk, dinged under. Took the buzz up. Let's see if they'll do that again. I'm still stood not right on the edge of the bank, I'm back off the bank still, my shadow's over here. So I'm not casting a shadow over there. When these fish start coming in super close, I'll drop back even further. There's a fish there, look. A couple of fish over here to my left again. And just rolled over it, look. That didn't, that had it. That's better. Bit of patience, eh? Just a little bit of patience. Clear water, you can see how shallow this is here. Let's take it to our five pound tip, it remember, so uh, we don't want to have any accidents. Not exactly been an easy half an hour's fishing, that's for sure. Nice fish. Oh yeah, lovely fish that. Well, it's still hooked just inside the scissors there. And then we have a nice chigbra rainbow. Not the biggest, but not a bad size fish. Two and a half. And there she goes. Good. Good, good. I'm going away in that clear water. Look fantastic. We've gone through the routine again. We've uh, dried the fly off, degreased, 
and all set to go and uh, definitely got a nice bit of cloud coming these fish are starting to there's one there starting to move about a bit now and that, that light's just getting a little bit lower for us now it's a bit bright to start with but they're definitely back on this edge here so and they're feeding hard really coming on these buzzers again we might get a nice hours fishing now See this fish here, look at him, bold as brass, let's get that line in front of him. I'm standing well back from the bank. He's just going round the circles in a merry little mission. Mopping up buzzers. Here he comes to the fly, is he going to have a look? That's all he did was have a look. Quite a lot of buzzers starting to pop off now. They should start up a bit more, a bit of feed and behaviour. Just catch that ripple. Oh, too quick on him? I don't think so. Refused it last second, that's more like it. You move it, they're always there when you move it, aren't they? Lazy, lazy take. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Brilliant. Brilliant. Such a nice, lazy take. Am I missing him? Lovely in this evening sunshine and clear water. Come on, <laughs> they don't want to be up these shallows, they just don't want to be in this shallow water. I can't blame them. Come on, up you go, lovely. Another nice fish. Barbers hook straight out, no problem. Yeah, not the biggest again, but very welcome. And there you go. Lovely. Good. Oh, and we've got a bit of cloud cover.
So there you are, typical fashion, I'll turn the camera off and what happens, fish comes out like a Polaris. There's a good fish as well, really good fish, out of nowhere this one. <laughs> I was just about to call it there and wrap it up and he came up and wallop. I hope you've enjoyed this folks and um, as always uh, if you did please click like and click subscribe um, any suggestions any comments please leave them any videos you'd like to see um, and I shall do my best I do appreciate your support as always of the channel look at him go cracking fish nice one to finish up on uh, maybe I did get the take on camera. Maybe I did, I don't know. But anyway, thanks very much folks. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll get this fish in and I'm going to call it a day. He's a good fish actually, nice fish to finish the day on. Good chigbra fish, nice solid. Oh yeah, nice lovely solid fish. Lovely. Nice chunky fish that one. There we go. Good looking cheekbone fish. All of two and three quarter. Nice fish. In the cupboard. Lovely way to finish off. Back to the depths. Brilliant.